Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Yes, so yesterday he uh, Offset had an Offset and Friends virtual music live stream event. And joining him was also Rich the Kid and St. John on that stream. Well, mm-hmm. another person who joined in was Young Thug. And Young Thug was talking about a time that he almost died from liver and kidney failure. Listen to this. Kind of just stayed in the bed and I was like, I can't move my body. Then later I was, um, when the ambulance came, I couldn't get out of the bed. They had to get me out of the bed, basically. I felt like my whole body was numb and I couldn't move. I went to the hospital and uh, I had found out that I had um, liver and kidney failure and I kind of had sort of passed away like I kind of died. I was in the hospital for like 17 days. What, what, what caused that? Was it like the lean or something like that? Well, you I'm usually not have sure. no alcohol when it comes to kidneys, right? And livers? Isn't it usually alcohol? I would, ho- I would hope it wasn't drugs because it really disturbs me when black people who have the luxury to actually take care of themselves, to eat the right things and exercise and, you know, uh, have access to health care. It really bothers me when people like that don't take care of their bodies. You know what I mean? People yeah, who have we, the means. All right. But we also know addiction is a serious disease for some people. So it's not as easy for some people as it is for others to take care of themselves the way that we know that you should, you know? Now, hold and on. And now, was, was it drugs, though? Mm-hmm. We don't know. Well, I don't, don't know. Say that. He didn't say, no, he didn't say. We yeah, don't know. I'm not saying uh, that it was. But um, he was talking about this while explaining the inspiration behind the song that he performed on that stream, Killed Before. So hmm. I guess you could listen to the song and get some more information. Well, now, well, let's not face, put that on Thug. I don't want to put that on Thug and, and say it was drugs because I don't want no, Thug. No, yeah, uh, we don't know that. No, kid, we don't know what it kid, was. I don't want him to kidnap me and torture me like he said he would do to me years ago. All right, now Babyface has announced a Mother's Day Waiting to Exhale Instagram Live special. You know Waiting to Exhale is my movie and my soundtrack. Love that. And he was actually speaking with The View about his recent bout with coronavirus and then how Waiting to Exhale will be part of the Mother's Day celebration. Listen to this. Uh, Because there were so many people, you know, that were on the Instagram Live that wanted to hear, like, music from Waiting to Exhale. And so I thought this would be great Mother's Day to play the Waiting to Exhale album and tell stories, tell how it all happened and talk about the artists and stuff. It'd be fun to do that because that was half the fun of it all in doing the... uh, the Instagram Live was that being able to tell stories and tell things, people were so interested in that. So I thought it'd be fun to do this as well. And I did love those stories, by the way, when he did his versus battle with Teddy Riley. That was the highlight for me, too, just hearing all the stories they had to tell behind some of those songs. Yep. So I think uh, hearing about music from Waiting to Exhale and all of that would be great for us to hear. I think that Who do you think is more shady, a baby face or Prince? Do you think baby face is Prince level shady? God bless the day. No, I think hmm. Prince was next level. <laughs> Prince was next level shady, right? Babyface guys, yeah. he's up there on on a scale of the one to Prince. Babyface about a six or seven. Yeah, Babyface is up there when it comes to that. All right, now Oprah, uh, for her network own is prepping a remote, non scripted series, Fair Not with Ayanna Van Zant and Girlfriends Check In. So those are two virtually produced series that they're planning to do. Uh, Ayanna Van Zant show launches on May sixteenth, and. It'll feature Ayanna offering her guidance during the pandemic and also have guests like Oprah, B.B. Winans. They'll have financial educators like uh, Tiffany, who's the budget nista. That should be interesting. And then there's also a Girlfriends Check-In that's going to air right after. And it'll bring together different groups of female celebrity friends each week. They'll have virtual get-togethers for uh, laughter, support, love, and gossip. So that should be interesting for us to watch while we're at home. Now, another good news, Post Malone is asking for fans to donate the million dollars of charity that he earned, the money that he earned for charity. He wants you to choose what charity that the, that money's going to go to. So he's using the celebrity fan platform community and then whatever causes his fans support, then he'll be able to donate to those different causes. So you can tell him where you want them to send the money. You can text him directly on his community phone number and then he'll... Uh, make sure those donations get done. And it has to deal with coronavirus relief for education, homelessness, hunger, mental health, veterans, and more. I think that's pretty dope. dope. I think that's dope, Mm -hmm. too. It it sounds like a worthy cause to me. I don't necessarily care for Post Malone's music, but that's a worthy cause. I think it's dope. You got to celebrate. Yeah, you got to celebrate when people do amazing things. So, And DJ Paul, he is doing the versus battle. You know, it's going to be Bone Thugs versus 3-6 Mafia. That's actually happening today. It's not a versus battle, though, with Timberland and Swiss Beats. So he was on TMZ Live, and here's what he had to say about wanting them to get on board. No, it's not a rip-off. You know, we would love to do it on versus. You know, believe me, versus is lit. But 
you know, we, we haven't talked to them or nothing, you know, so we just want to do a, I don't know, friendly competition. It ain't a competition, rather. We call it a celebration, a little friendly celebration of over 50 years of combined, you know, combined music that we put out together, you know, for the fans, man. This may be yeah. an opportunity to holler at Timbo right now. It would be dope. I see them talking, uh, you know, asking who next, who next. People be saying my name all the time, so, you know. You know, I love to do it, man. Holla at me, man. Holla at me, Tim and Swissy. I wasn't necessarily a Bone Thugs fan growing up. Definitely was a 3-6 Mafia fan, but Bone is a legendary group. 3-6 is a legendary group. That wouldn't be a bad versus at all. No, it wouldn't be a bad they, versus. And then they can do, like, their solo stuff, but are they allowed to do, like, their production that they've done for other artists, too? I would assume so, yeah. yeah. I would think so. I mean, well, you know, no, 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 no. Yeah. Because it's a, they both no, done it, though. No, because it's a group battle. Bone, mm -hmm. bone never produced it. Bone produced for bone never produced for anybody. That's what I'm so saying. It would be then a, that's not fair, right? Yeah, it's a group battle. It's three six mafia versus Bone Thugs, not DJ Paul and Juicy J as producers. Yeah, but you, I mean, we don't necessarily know. I mean, Bone Thugs could have could have produced stuff for Easy E. Could have could have produced for we, things we just don't know. You know, so we can't say we never we, we just don't know. We never heard that. We never heard that in our lives. Yeah, don't make things Ever. up now. No, I'm just saying we don't know. I didn't say I did. I said we don't know. Just like some of the records that Little John produced. We didn't know Little John did Capleton. Like, there's stuff that, you know, that's from the these only, battles, we're learning the, things. That's the, but Little John is a producer, though. Bone Thugs has never been on the record as a producer, is what I'm saying. Envy. It's just like somebody, it's like if, if I said right now, I want to battle you in a DJ battle. What would you say? I've never seen you DJ in your life. Exactly. <laughs> that's all. That's all. All right. And I just want to close it out with make sure you guys check out, um, Little Dicky show. Is his name Little Dicky anymore? Is that how we're referring to him? Or Dave? Um, yeah, he's li he's Little Dicky on the show. Okay. Well, yeah, on here, the show, he's is, here we are actually discussing his name and his name changes and all of that on the finale. Morning, everybody. I'm Angela Yee. That's Charlamagne the God. Yep. We are the Breakfast Club and we have a very special guest in the building. Little Dicky is here. Hello, everybody. Yeah, he keeps introducing himself as, as Dave, though. Yeah, that's uh that's my name. So I just feel weird, like, introducing myself as anything other than my name. That's pretty unrapper-like of you. I know, right? <laughs> Is that something you take pride in, uh, being different? You know, not, not being, like, a, a seen as a typical rapper? Not necessarily. I, I don't want to even speak to what other rappers do. I just, like, if I'm going to meet someone, I'm not going to be like, hi, I'm Lil Dicky, because, like, I'm not. Like, I'm Dave, like, the guy behind Lil Dicky. You know what I mean? We didn't want to yes, give away we what's actually happening on the show, so make sure you check out the series. Yeah, and listen, let's tell the backstory a little bit. Last year, Lil Dicky hit me up and he asked me, he asked us to do this and he told me the concept. And so we did the show. Mm -hmm. And that was like, I was late last year. And, and when the show premiered this year, I wasn't even watching it. And then my homegirl, Jenny Henry, hit me and was like, you should watch Dave. I want your opinion on it. And I started watching after seven episodes, Ed. And I love the show. It is brilliant. Best comedy on TV I've seen in a long time. Dave and What We Do in the Shadows are my two favorite shows to watch right now. They're both on FX. Dave is like really, really, really hilarious. So drop and one of the clues bombs for uh, Lil Dicky. And Envy wasn't there that day because he had to leave work early, so. Yeah, I was closing on a property and, and uh, it was a long shoot. It was like a seven hour shoot, right? A five hour shoot, something it, like that? It, they didn't it, tell it me it was going to be It definitely was a long hour shoot. <laughs> it was a long shoot and I was I had to close on the property so I couldn't make it. And the funny but, thing is, is when I get to close on the property, the, I, I couldn't close that day because they didn't have all the paperwork. So it, I would have loved to well, do it. Well, you could have came back then. Yeah, I could have. Listen, I'm telling you, Dave <laughs> is a great show. If you have not checked it out on FX... All, all 10 episodes are up on um, on demand right now. It's hilarious. There's another episode they use a very underrated Breakfast Club clip because uh, Taco from Odd Future is on the show and he's lying in bed watching Instagram and it's a Breakfast Club episode when, when I was telling Juice World, I was telling all Juice World's boys to hug. Remember when I used to make all the brothers hug and say, I love you and I value and I appreciate you? He was laying in the bed randomly watching that. This hmm. The show's really dope. Salute to Dave. Little, little Dicky. Same thing. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. <laughs>